all the special effects, CGI and virtual reality you see in the movies and video games are pretty much being used in digital marketing, or if they're not, they soon will be. Well, that's according to our guest today, who creates digital solutions for his clients to reach their customers more effectively and profitably. Well, to find out more, let's meet Ventakesh Krishnamurthy, founder and CEO of the technology company Wharf Street Strategies. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to Great British Business. Venkatesh, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Hello, Sarah. So what do you do for your clients? You create apps, websites, you advise on digital marketing. What do you do? Uh, so I deal with two kinds of clients. Uh, the first client, I would call it a small or a medium-sized client who actually does a transaction with me wherein they want a small service or just uh, maybe one or two services. Uh, it's just uh, a one-off wherein I create a website or a platform or an app or a, a, a marketing, a basic marketing service for like one month or two months. Now, the other client, kind of client I deal with is a premium client. Now, this is uh, why I started Wall Street Strategies and um, for the premium client, I do the research, I do his design, I do, I handle his operations like server management, uh, I build the tech and his, I manage his marketing as well and it could go on a long term basis and it could be on a subscription basis. And now we've had artificial intelligence for decades now, but what are some of the more interesting, exciting ways that you see it's being used in digital marketing or generally? So artificial intelligence, if we remember, I think uh, the chess game wherein we had uh, to compete with the bot. So similarly, I think um, a lot of games use artificial intelligence as such, wherein uh, we have uh, the computer fighting with us. Uh, the, uh, everything is done by the computer. Uh, now, by this we understand that um, uh, we, we, we are trying to create machines which are at par with human beings just to make decisions based on uh, how the opponent reacts or how the player reacts. This is just in the gaming sense. Now apart from that, I think uh, artificial intelligence can be widely used because right now um, there, is a, there is a lot of scope for us to actually just think and have uh, the text on the screen printed. So that's something really cool and that's powered by artificial intelligence. That's coming already, is it? I would say it's work in progress, but that's something that's going to be there in the near future. And also thinking about machine learning, where systems learn and improve without being specifically programmed, what can we expect there, do you think? Uh, is a good combination that we can have with artificial intelligence uh, because in artificial intelligence we have uh, the codes analyzed by uh, the algorithm to make decisions. Uh, now, when, when I speak about decisions, decisions are made uh, uh, in an effective manner by the artificial intelligence uh, code. Now, with machine learning combined with that data set, what we can do is we can actually target the right customer and uh, we can position ourselves to the uh, right audience and uh, we can help monetize because uh, machine learning uh, analyzes all the data for us and it leads us to the right customer and positions us and even helps us monetize. But at the same time, it gives us a uh, estimate or it gives us a predictive analysis on how exactly the user would behave, um, how he would uh, maybe come back to the platform or go off the platform. All that kind of uh, predictions is given by machine learning, which can be used largely. Now, blockchain is used a lot in financial payments because it's so quick and secure. But you think that in five years' time, we'll all be using blockchain. Now, in what way and why? Uh, so blockchain uh, is not only used in just financial transactions. It is being adopted by quite a lot of other sectors, uh, as in with the health sector, with the energy sector, uh, with the airline aviation sector. For example, there is Etihad Airways, there is British Airways, there is Shell in energy, uh, there are many uh, insurance sectors like MetLife, uh, then we have even uh, banks like Barclays uh, who are using blockchain, now there are games that are using blockchain. So I see a lot of scope in this sector because uh, blockchain would be used in uh, quite a lot of industries and uh, areas in the near future. Okay, and if we think also about mixed reality, which is a combination of virtual reality and also augmented reality, it's an emerging technology at the moment, would you say, but what do you see as some of the exciting ways that it is going to be used? To start with augmented reality, I'd say, um, is uh, something like Pokemon Go that we had the, on our apps, wherein people were crazy and uh, it was very engaging for them. Uh, now there is uh, something known as CryptoKitties on blockchain, which is using augmented reality. Um, 
that's the augmented reality bit. Uh, if you talk about virtual reality, it is uh, creating an environment, uh, an artificial env environment where you can uh, interact with all the uh, images or digital characters. Uh, I would like to give the example of uh, the cartoon Johnny Quest, which is uh, about virtual reality. It just reminds me of my childhood. So that's basically virtual reality. Uh, now with mixed reality, um, it's a combination of uh, the artificial environment with the real environment. So let's say we have uh, a lens which is replaced by an Oculus device, uh, which shows a digital uh, character or a digital um, image. Uh, we can actually have that image in front of us on this table while we interact with the real environment. So it's like interacting with the artificial environment and the real environment. Goodness, right. Well, we look forward to that. Now, businesses always need to know, don't they, which technologies the public are liking, they're enjoying, they're interacting with, and which ones they're rejecting. So how do you guide businesses through which are the kind of emerging technologies that are working for people? Uh, so this is uh, very client specific because uh, every customer has a certain need and uh, he, he wants something else. I, I believe it is uh, uh, we who need to guide them on the right technology and the appropriate technology. For example, if he wants something related to data, then I would suggest him to go with machine learning or maybe artificial intelligence, which could uh, uh, help uh, analyze the data and uh, give us the right triggers required. Uh, now, if you talk about emerging marketing techniques, so we deal a lot with data um, in the current market. Uh, now, digital marketing uh, techniques are basically uh, tools that are used, marketing tools. It just makes it more effective. Uh, customer can get what he wants and the business person can sell what he sells. So it's like a link between the two and obviously it's powered by technology, but it's a marketing tool which actually helps him monetize it. And finally, would you say that all businesses need to use digital marketing and why? I think digital marketing is the right way of uh, entering into a, into a new market or an existing market uh, because you can, you can make your presence really quick there. Uh, the social media handles like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram actually help you reach really quick and that helps you improve your SEO. Uh, further, further to that, you can uh, you can work on adwords. You can have like the right keywords. You can have the right hashtags to target the right audience because this helps in uh, again search engine uh, optimization and uh, would would push your uh, uh, search to the top when anyone searches for uh, digital marketing or they search for a particular service that they need. Venkatesh, thanks very much for telling us all about that. Yeah, thank you. Well, that's all we've got time for at the moment. But from me, Sarah Lockett at the London Stock Exchange Studios, it's goodbye and thanks for watching.